And well, drizzly day. Supposed to get rain for seven days. What are you gonna do? You live in a rainforest. Something loud. Garbage truck or something. Quick tip today. Lots going on. Quite busy. Um, let's go up to the hayloft. Through my hay room. Have a sip of tea. Working in here right now. Um, I've got hay coming. I'll show you. This is the hay loft. And um, pretty nice view from up here, to be honest. <laughs> it's crazy. They always look at me when I'm up here like, what are you doing up there? Oh, Zeus. He's off to go find uh, the bear and the pear bear. Check out this video. You should be able to see a bear up there. Let's see. Let me just get my light. There. There's a pear bear. Pear bear, get out of here. It's not gonna get out of here with me here, but you know, I'm gonna yell at him. I don't want a pear bear. There's actually two pear bears. The other pear bear I chased off. Yeah, you know, there's a pear bear way up the tree. And look at how high up he is. He is literally all the way up there from down here. Way, way up there. Right there. Poor pear bear. Okay, we're gonna deal with this. Anyway, so tried to chase that guy off, chased him off. And then, in the morning, I just discovered more tracks. But anyhow, so, moving on to, I think I've talked about this before, but I want to cover it again. This is our hay room here. Uh, I can't stress enough the importance of um, making sure that you have a good, solid, dry place to put hay. Um, I can't even count how many times I've heard people their barn flooded out and it rained too much, the drainage failed, whatever. And all their hay, or at least the bottom layer is wrecked. Even when I was in Colorado, they had some kind of torrential rainfall that came in and uh, somewhere in the barn there was some corner that just got wet. So you lose hay, you're gonna lose hay. Um, so this is more for planning or you know possible management, but having a nice, loft up high like this um, that's dry the roof is good i mean it's kind of it's not the newest barn around obviously <laughs> and it's sort of partially insulated and then at some point there was it's dark but i don't know you can't really see but some mouse was living in there a few years ago so you want to keep the rats out as well but having um if you can you want to try to raise your hay up off the ground um, at least a foot I think pa a lot of people use pallets they'll put pallets down and put their hay on top of that but there's still a decent chance depending on where you are depending on your drainage depending on some kind of monsoon that comes through it's always unexpected um, but a hayloft is great this this hayloft can hold I think about 10 tons of hay uh, size wise we've got a little bit of alfalfa here um, that I just use once in a while, and that's lasting quite a while. Um, but dry hay um, in a place that doesn't get a lot of a, a lot of breeze, a lot of moisture breeze kind of thing. If I were to store hay, say for example, if I were to store hay down in there for any sort of extended period of time, I'm talking months, um, because it's so breezy and airy in there, and the moisture can kind of get in there quite well, in time the, the hay would just rot even though it's dry in there, it's totally dry, it doesn't leak. This also does not leak, 100% doesn't leak. It's very dry in here, um, but it's all nice and closed off as well, so it doesn't get that huge amount of breeze, even though it is a little bit airy. I mean, there's some spots that are kind of open, 
Um, these these doors obviously aren't they don't seal up but they close up um, and then of course there's always the uh, the hatch to get down oh come on camera so there's that uh, but if you're ever thinking of going to a place if you're ever thinking of uh, building a place or something like that 100% I'd recommend doing your best to make sure your hay is off the ground at least a foot if you can get it on the second floor because deliveries are usually done by hay elevator anyways and the hay guys are coming today so I might try to get a little bit more footage of that hey Zeus where's the bear go get him he's off you can see him there <laughs> he's gone um, for the unforeseen so and the more horses you have obviously the more hay you want to buy, try to store it's usually cheaper if you buy more uh, buy in bulk Right now, he's a little expensive due to some weather circumstances. So and today's not a bad day for delivery. Uh, something else to think about when you're having your hay delivered. Uh, it's a bit moist. It's a little drizzly, but not pouring rain. So yeah, the view up here is really nice, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> Looks good. Um, it's fine uh, if, if, you know, there's a little bit. Of, of moisture it just absorbs in anyways the haze already ever so slightly got some moisture in it but you wouldn't want to have a torrential drip downpour day to come along because it it just gets soaked and then you'd have a really good chance of having some rot um, although you know all loads of hay have some bales that have some anyways so you want to set it up for the best success possible one of those things is definitely a higher than the ground area to put it in so that's today's tip on um, horse property planning for anybody that is doing that kind of thing or wondering about that kind of thing or you're going to lease a place or you're going to move to a place you want to know where your hay is going to be stored making sure you got a good supply of it because when it gets <laughs> he's back when it gets wet and you got to chuck it it's a waste of money and you don't have food for your horses so that's that we're moving on with things very busy very very busy it's good zeus let's go in there good looking dog I took a really cool shot of him put him on instagram the other day, got some rave reviews. So, whoop, is that them? Oh, what timing! Look at that. Here they come now. Let's see. Looks like they tarped it up too. So that's good. So he's gonna go say hi. So. These guys are good guys. They bring good hay and they're careful with it and all that kind of stuff and all loading is done. So we'll get on with uh, this. I'll see you guys a little later. Zeus! Such a good guard dog, eh?